Soon after K.J. Muldoon was born last summer, he was diagnosed with a rare genetic condition that is fatal for about half the infants affected. Until now, the only long-term treatment that worked had been a liver transplant. Instead, doctors at the Children's Hospital of Philadelphia told K.J.'s family they could try something that had never been done before. Use a technology called CRISPR to find the one uniquely mutated gene out of 20,000 in his little body and fix it. K.J. received three infusions to his liver earlier this year. This is mind-blowing, and we should all be very, very excited. Brian Brown is an immunologist and bioengineer who heads up gene research at Mount Sinai Medical Center. We are at day one of, you know, the future of how we're going to treat different diseases. And what does that future potentially look like? We may have potentially treatments for, you know, horrible diseases that children may be born with. Baby K.J. is gaining weight and thriving. So far, there have been no serious side effects, but doctors are monitoring him closely and hope to send him home soon. To watch him from the day he was born and his will to live has inspired me. KJ's parents, Kyle and Nicole, are looking forward to his first birthday in August. We spoke to them on Zoom late today. Nicole, what's it like for you now to hold your son in your arms? Now when I get to hold him and he's laughing and jumping around, that's... That's a very heartwarming because I didn't know if that was going to happen at one point. Oh, John. Yeah, so just... on all of these stories, I have the same question. Is this a single amazing thing or is this kind of proof of concept concept that can be replicated? It's both, John. OK, to be clear, CRISPR technology has been used in humans before. What makes this absolutely unique is baby KJ is born. They figure out quickly this rare genetic problem. And then the clock is ticking because every second that goes by, the genetic defect makes ammonia levels rise, which can damage the brain. They very quickly, within six months, go from nothing to a treatment which they give him, and it works. Astonishing. When you hear a researcher say this is day one of the future, mind-blowing, <laughs> these guys aren't given to just overstating things. Is this the beginning of the future, literally? Like, what are the broader implications here? I, I think it is. I spoke to two of the researchers this afternoon, and, and I have to say, they cautioned these are early days. We have to proceed with caution. But the lead researcher said, you know, think about it. You can turn genes on, you can turn genes off, you can fix damaged genes. So that not only helps the millions of people who have rare genetic disorders, you know, it's not rare if you have it, uh, and the people have other problems potentially, problems of the heart, problems of the head. And think about this, the lead author said to me, imagine if you could take a cancer gene and fix it.